Hello, this is Chris AuctionFantasy.com again with another totally unscripted eBay profit opportunity for you. This is a Sure V15 phonograph cartridge. Now, what what comes to mind when you see this? For most people, probably nothing. And this is sitting out on the table at the flea market for a dollar. And hundreds of people saw this thing and nobody bought it. And I know that flea market is rife with people who buy stuff to sell on eBay, so I kind of wonder why. Anyway, sure. Sure has been making high quality stuff for a long time as far as they're popular for making not only phonograph cartridges but microphones. This particular critter here was made back around 1969. In this box, it's pretty funny, it's almost like a little time capsule. You have the little booklet that came with it. It actually says copyright 1969 on there, gives you a hint of when it was made. And then you have the cartridge itself. The incomparable Super Track Sure. Super Trackability. Now, you might be familiar with what a phonograph cartridge does, and you might not. Essentially, this goes on to the end of the tone arm on a turntable. The cartridge has what they call a stylus on the end. The stylus is the actual needle. This one comes off. Now, oh, I don't want to take it off there. I'm tearing the thing up. The job of the needle is to ride in the little grooves on the record and to absorb all those vibrations in that, the, that were put onto the, the vinyl when it was pressed. Those vibrations are passed into the cartridge. The job of the cartridge is to convert those little vibrations into an electronic signal that's sent up the tone arm of the turntable and it goes out to the preamplifier or the integrated amp to be amplified loud enough to play the speakers. The magic happens inside the cartridge because depending on how well it's able to transform the vibrations from the needle into an electronic signal it will tell you how good the music you're going to get out of the thing anyway you're probably saying well why in the heck would anybody in this day and age of electronic mp3s and music and cds and dvds why does anybody want a phonograph needle one thing you have to know about if you're going to make any money in this business is that people are after stuff that few other people know they're after. And I should restate that. Lots and lots and lots of people out there on eBay are after many items that few people, except for the ones involved in their little business or in their little area of interest, know that they're looking for. The audiophile, for example, a lot of them, they'll take their, they still play the vinyl records They'll take that vinyl record out and they'll clean it off and it's almost like a little ritual. They put it on their turntable with a nice sure cartridge in it and they'll play that thing. And, uh, and they love it. So that's why this will can easily sell for over $100 on eBay. And what's very interesting is that not only do people use these, but they collect them. As an example, this, if it did not have the cartridge in it, just the paraphernalia here, the little wooden box, and the booklet and stuff could go for $35 or $40 on eBay. Because people who actually, let's say some guy bought an old uh, turntable that had one of these cartridges on it, he's probably saying, man, I wish that I had the rest of the stuff to go with this. and." He can get on eBay and, and buy the empty box. Now you're probably saying, well, why? What's with the wooden box? I mean, it's a 
nowadays you get yourself an iPod or whatever it is and it comes in a, a little plastic box and nothing nearly as fancy as a wooden case. Well back in the 60s and the 70s and maybe the 80s but pretty much died out by the 80s. The 70s and the 60s were the heyday of of stereo equipment here in this country. I mean, you look at all the, uh, the expensive turntable nowadays on eBay and the expensive amplifiers and stuff. So many of them are like from the 1970s. That was really a time when they were making some really high quality audio stuff. High quality and expensive. Really expensive stuff. It wasn't the throwaway thing. I mean, my MP3 player breaks or you know, something like that, I'll just throw it away. Back then, the stuff was expensive. How else would you warrant having a phonograph cartridge in a wooden box? But it was a different era then, and the stuff was just... I'm kind of... I can't even think what I'm trying to say right now to explain it. But it was more than it is nowadays. Nowadays, something breaks, your MP3 player breaks, you toss it in the trash. Back then, all of those, now you know they made cheap stuff too, but there was some really expensive, high quality stuff. And that, people, it was so popular back then, and it's such high quality, that nowadays, a lot of the people who couldn't afford it, they, they might have been teenagers back then when when uh, they wanted some of this expensive stuff. Nowadays they got good jobs and they can afford, they still remember lusting after that Sansui amplifier or whatever. And, uh, and they st still remember that and nowadays that they have good jobs, they're older, they can afford this stuff. So it's among audiophiles a lot of this stuff, this audio equipment from the 60s and 70s, primarily 70s, is really sought after. A lot of people will see this and go, oh, it's an old uh, stereo cartridge, big deal. But that's not how you make the money in this business. Learn to see who you, it, learn to see who's out there. Once you learn who's out there and what they want and why they want it, all of a sudden these crazy things are going to start coming into your life, coming into your purview, and you pick them up and you sell them on eBay and all your friends go, God, I can't believe some moron paid you that much money for this item. And you just kind of like smile and you don't even try to explain to them because it just wouldn't work. But there are many, 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 many examples out there, just like this little critter, that nobody has any idea that a lot of people are looking for on eBay. And the more of these examples you have under your belt, the more money you stand to make. This is Chris Stevens, Auction Bandits. See you next time.